Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah. what's up? This is your girl, Queen318, Ravage Gator Diva, House of Queens TV. And shout out to Since Day One, a content creator that does her thing in his YouTube street. So shout out to Since Day One. Hey, girl, hey. Anyways, um, this young lady right here that we have in front of us, this um, rapper is called Stunner Girl. I never heard of her before. Um, sad to say, but I'm in tune now. I'm very in tune, <laughs> baby. But anyways, what's going on, my kings and my queens out there in these streets? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, safe, blessed day. Okay? And not the for Let's get into the drama. Okay, stunner girl, this girl right here, her and Cuban are in these streets. Turn it up. It's on fire. And from what we have so far about Cuban Doll is allegedly she's pillow talking with people talking about that this one girl named Pimp Cece, she's from Louisiana, my state, yeah, my state, is allegedly that Pimp Cece had set up Jaden Youngin to get offed off. But she's not responding to the allegations that people are hitting her up. Because um, from what I know, that Pimp CC pulled up with Jada Youngin's baby mother, the, one that, the baby that passed away, to fight Jada Youngin's first baby mother. And she also has some dealings with um, Cuban doll, I'm not sure. I think they had linked up a few times, but I'm not sure. But anyways, it's very fucked up that Cuban doll would go that links to spread this rumor if it's not true and don't have no receipts because that can get somebody really hurt because Jetty Young is also from my state is very respected in those streets. So... If she gonna be going around spreading these rumors, she need to have some receipts or something that gonna link pimps to him being demise. Other than that, she need to start spreading these rumors, and that's on period, big period, boo. So let's get into since day one on what she had to say about Cuban doll and Stunner Girl getting into it on these good social media streets. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to do so. Hit the notification bell, but hit also every time I upload. You guys will be notified. Also, thumbs up so to stimulate the algorithm. Leave a comment and go to comment section so I know what you thought about this content. Let's go. Let's get it. Had liked something on the girl's page and she said, Stalker, you still mad I stripped you for your chain and sold it to Offset? My ninja ain't pay you no mind. She tagged someone named CEO Slow. I came to your apartment with the chain. Offset said that chain bumped and tried to offer me $2,000. I said, nope, we agreed to 10 k So Cash XO slid the 10 k because you know what the F is going on. The brazy part is I ain't never said nothing because I was signed and Cuban went to go link up with everybody that hates me and they called 12 on me and came up with a master plan to take me down. And nothing worked, LMFAO, so I can speak on it now. Why is you playing with me, girl? Yeah. Cuban came to my man page, starting with me out of nowhere, being funny. So let me be funnier. You know I'm gonna get up on that bumper. Another girl came back with a video from Queens, New York, where she allegedly sold Cuban's chain to this one guy. And she says this is the dude that does the transaction. I got real receipts. Put the chain to this nigga. The score is three zero. So if her little friend come playing too, I'm gonna post her chain too. Oh my goodness, you guys. This stuff is messy, messy, messy. But I have to stop and get my commentary because this is not my original content. So what do you guys think so far about what Stunner Girl had to say and show about her snatching Cuban Dolls chain? And she got receipts. Oh, but wait, there's more. Play with me. I still ain't said everything. I got popo reports and all that. And then Stunning Girl posted a photo of Cuban Doll with the same chain on that 
that she allegedly snatched from her. Stunner Girl goes on to say, this was years ago. I don't know why these little brokies starting with me out of nowhere, knowing they been got stepped on. Ain't nobody never took nothing from me. I done took so many of y'all chains when I first got in the rap game. Y'all know what the drill is. Don't make me come out of retirement. Then Stunner Girl posted receipts, basically saying the pawn shop said that Cuban Doll's chain was only worth $950. Stunner Girl posted another photo with Cuban Doll in the chain and said, please lie and say it ain't your chain, sis. We ain't seen the chain since. Where is that? So as I was going through Stunner Girl's Instagram page, you guys, I found another video allegedly with her and Cuban Doll's chain. <laughs> And then Stunner Girl said, girl, stop lying. You ain't even know I sold your chain till I posted I did. Where is your chain, sis? If I didn't take it, post it. We still waiting. It's been years now. So Stunner Girl posted more receipts on her Instagram story and said, so explain how I snatched your wig off your head, too. Then, did you get that back, too? The video was captioned, somebody asked Cuban the Savage, where's her chain and 40-inch frontal wig at? <laughs> Okay, my thing is this, you guys, and I don't condone nobody type of violence or, you know, going back and forth with females, but if that's the type of time you're on, then do what you do, boo. But my thing is this, I can't think of Jalen Young's first but baby mother's name, but this is my thing. Cuban doll, how she went back and forth with that young girl and then pulled up on her to fight her and go back and forth on these YouTube streets or these internet streets. She had all type of time. And see, that's why I can't stand about some females. Because some of these females, if you're going to be about that life, be about that life with every female that you have a drama with. Don't pick and choose which female you're going to have beef with. Because like I said, I can't think of Jaden Young as baby mama name. Put it down in the comment section if you guys know Jaden Young as baby mother name. But anywho, she always press that girl maybe because she can't fight like that but she will fight you even though she can't she don't got hands like that but she will fight you if it comes down to it like i said not condoning violence on this channel but with this girl stunner girl she's pressing the gas on cuban doll's neck and cuban doll is on mute she on silent can we buy a vow for 200 cuban because it's like you ain't got no type of smoke for this girl. Maybe because she can beat you. But you have all type of smoke for J.D. Youngin's baby mother. And like I said, I can't stand females like that. If you're going to be about that life and talk that big cash money shit, be about it with every female you come across that you got beef with. Don't pick and choose. Don't be a, a choosy lover. Choosy lover. Stunner girl comes back and say, I've been to your chain in 2019 and you still won't let it go. You tried everything. That's why you came out of nowhere today because you still hurt off the fact you been got stepped on and didn't get your lick back. So I just find it very much hilarious, y'all, that we have been trying to get Cuban the Savage to respond to Pimp CC for the longest, especially since my last upload about Pimp CC and Cuban. If y'all ain't watched that video, y'all missed out. But since y'all probably don't got time to go watch it, then basically, long story short, Cuban Doll been running around here pillow talking with certain people, telling people that Pimp CC allegedly set up Jetty Youngin, and that's the reason he's no longer here with us. And when Pimp CC and her friend Jeezy had came out on Twitter and called Cuban out about it, Cuban didn't even respond to them, y'all. But when I came out on Twitter and was talking about what Stunner Girl was talking about in her Instagram story, you guys, and I said, Cuban must be real life scary in real life because you didn't address Pimp CC when she called you out publicly. You ain't even addressed Stunner Girl when she stomped you out and stole your chain and 40 inch wig. Cuban, I'm crying. Then the pawn shop said it was only worth $950. Why Cuban Doll being picky and choosy and going to respond to me talking about SDFU? I said, Cuban, don't tell me SDFU. Do you have your phone on yet? Yes or no? Well, moving along to money, y'all, y'all, you... Okay, you guys, so that's the end of that. I'm not going to go into money, y'all, y'all, and the shit that she got on going on behind her baby daddy that she's not with. So, if you guys enjoy the little content I just gave you guys, go ahead and thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, so it can stimulate the algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section so I know what you thought about this.
content. Also, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you want to do so. This is your girl, Queen C18, Ray, which created Divas Queen CB, and the thing called life. Sometimes it's hard and sometimes it's easy, but if you put your faith in God, He will lead you through all the way. Baby, can I get an amen? And keep it in mind, yeah, you're great later. I love you. God loves you, and I hope you love yourself more. Bye, you guys.